Hiya, hiya. Welcome to the vertical Joey Reynolds. Can we be horizontal? Gee, I don't know. This is that home. I, I don't know how to do this home uh, shooting. I'm going to have to hire a network executive and have him come over here and show me how to, how to do social networking. <laughs> We're all living this way. Everybody's living this way. All the Zoom, all the teaching that's done online. Can you imagine if we didn't have this phone? And you got to thank my friend, Woz, Steve Wozniak, who uh, with uh, Steve Jobs, you know, the two of those guys, they began the Apple thing. Uh, I met them back in 1977 when I was at 20th Century Fox. And uh, Woz is a very generous person, gave a lot of his money to kids who have no money. Uh, Steve Jobs gave all money to himself and he died. That's about the story. It doesn't get any more complicated than that. Uh, except there was a disease involved and I don't mean to find anything wrong with Steve Jobs. I thought he was a wonderful uh, businessman, but Steve Wozniak was the inventor. Matter of fact, I got Steve Wozniak called me one day and asked me, uh, he was on my show in, uh, in New York, and Steve and I are mutual friends with uh, Joe Patain, who was the first uh, actor on Real World on MTV. Uh, so Wozniak asked me, Woz said, uh, is Les Paul in the rock, is he in the Inventors Hall of Fame? And I said, no, I, I don't, I don't, I don't know. So I called Les and I said, are you in the, in the uh, Inventors Hall of Fame? He said, I don't know, I'm in all these damn things. I don't know which one I'm in. And I said, well, you know, uh, Steve Wozniak, who I brought to meet you, uh, is is uh, on the board, and and you seem to be not in that Hall of Frame. <laughs> so he got him in there. Anyway, they voted him in, and Les Paul is in the uh, Inventors Hall of Fame in Akron, Ohio, Ken, uh, thanks to Steve Wozniak, and and my friendship with uh, with these guys. Now Wozniak was the guy who gave us the early Apple, and now we got the Apple that everybody's biting into, which is the one that I'm using right now. And uh, you know, as a result of the phone, and the phone has become. The medium of exchange has become the director of all the traffic, the small phone here, and I have the least amount of viewers. Isn't that interesting? How, you know, I don't have people click on to me because I'm not doing anything really stupid, and I'm not, and, and it's, it's a long, well, I, I mean, I shouldn't say it that way. Uh, you know, self-praise is worthless, but I'm not, I'm not as stupid as I was. So let me put it that way, okay? I'll compare myself to myself, then you don't get into trouble. Uh, the new mask is out. The uh, uh, new, you know, we're wearing designer masks now. Have you noticed? That's the new look. Uh, ever since the uh, pandemic, we have decided that the 95 was the one to have with the little, um, there's an air hole in here and it's a filter. But the new one doesn't have that. It's more rectangular. And I'm expecting it because you can breathe better. And that I can't breathe stuff, which uh, came from the horribleness of the police and the, uh, and the, uh, uh, Minneapolis. Uh, I, we all know that. We all know about Floyd. Come on. I don't want to go through that again. But, you know, the marching of everybody uh, has caused a spike in this, and nobody wants to say it because it's a political year. And the, the, the proof of it is that younger people have now caught the virus, which was not the case before. Uh, people the average age 30 years old, and that was the average age of the marchers. But why do we have such denial about everything that we've done? We do something and then we get into denial. Isn't that an interesting uh, human trait? You know, the first thing, it was Adam and Eve. You know, Adam said it was her, Lord. You know, you blame someone else. But that doesn't solve it and it doesn't really uh, make you feel any better. You don't feel better when you blame someone. So, the, you know, the blame game. They say that if you point a finger at someone, there's three pointing back at yourself. Now, you know, we're going back to sports. We're going to have uh, good sportsmanship, I hope. I hope we don't uh, play sports the way we're playing life. My God, we'll be kicking everybody in the balls uh, in basketball. Uh, so one of the things that I think is going to be really new is to have audiences that don't exist. So what they've done is they've painted an audience. They have a fake audience in the stadiums. You know, they have all of these figures. I had that on my TV show in Miami because I was on Channel 10 in Miami every morning. And because of the Hispanic population in Miami, we couldn't get a full audience. I had to have Christina on, who was on Tele, Telemundo. She was like the Oprah of, of uh, Latin. So I had her on the show. And Christina would sit there and draw a big audience because she was Hispanic. Uh, so to get a big studio audience, I either had to have Christina or we put these models in the back row so it looked like the room was full. So it looked like I had a big audience, but I really didn't. They were all painted. And it's the same thing we're doing with stadiums now. So I had that fake audience long before it was uh, fashionable. <laughs> of course.
course, you know, we have fake news. News is never fake. It's the people who are in it. They're the ones who are fake. It's a, it's a mannequin and a woman akin. Is this a pride month? Is this a month? Why do the gay people get a month and, uh, and black people only get one day? Hey, am I starting trouble here? <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's it's the way it's the way it is. And the Indians, hey, you want to you want they're the ones who were here originally, and before the after the dinosaurs, they were actually here first. But their payback was we we got rid of them, put them in the tar pit, you know. But the Indians now, you know, they they they're having a they won't let us through on some of their roads because it's on reservation property, which is their they are they have uh, uh, the right to block anybody in this country from going on their property and some of them are major highways <laughs> so they're not letting the truckers through so that's the latest thing with that but the Indians you know uh, they're there if you if you really want to start taking history down then you better start taking the casinos down that that'd be the next thing uh, I'm, I'm so crazy with with all of this it's, 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 it's just much ado about nothing it really I mean it's everything but it's nothing at the same time simultaneously all I know is that uh, we have an election year, and I, I'm not uh, going to vote for anybody because I can't stand any of them. But <laughs> they're all—they're making me crazy. I hate these guys, all of them. I hate them all. I, I don't want to—I don't want to hear from a senator, a congressman, a mayor, a governor. I don't want to hear from a president. I don't want—I want them all to go home. Just send me my stipend. Send me that—that uh, that relief check. That uh, when do I get money for not working and no tax on it? That's my kind of job. <laughs> it's a uh, Reynolds rap. Follow me. I'm the only guy that gets the least. I get the least hits. You know why? Because I make the most sense and I'm telling the truth and I have nothing to lose and I don't give a shit. <laughs> That'll take you off of TikTok and takes you off of uh, what's that other one that I'm off of? I'm off of. I'm, I'm on them, but I don't pay attention to all these platforms. The only platform I care about is the the one on the subway when I can go back to New York. I don't know when that's going to happen. I ain't going to sit in quarantine for two weeks just because I'm back in the Bronx. Ain't going to happen. It's a Reynolds wrap.